I think I literally owe my life to De La Salle High School. I mean that. In my sophomore year, I was standing right next to the old gym there, and my uncle came and told me that my dad and my uh, sister were killed in a plane crash. So I went in to see Brother Norbert, who was then the principal, and I said, Brother, uh, I got all my brothers and sisters, and uh, we don't have much money, so I have to quit school. And he says, go back to your class. He said, uh, you're here on a scholarship. And because of BLSL, I got to go on to college. I actually got to work for two vice presidents of the United States, Hubert Humphrey and Walter Mondale. But none of that ever would have happened without BLSL High School. And it holds the same promise for each and every one of you kids here today. Be proud of who you are. You're the inheritors of a wonderful tradition, each and every one of you. Be very proud of that. It means a lot just to have that, that on your chest, just the deal of sell monogram. I feel special being one of those people to wear that jersey. Every single time I go out, I have to put all my hardest work in just to show my respect for what the school has. Coming to a school with a religious background helps me get different perspectives on certain areas of my life and has helped me become more of a spiritual person. Prayer before class I think is very important. It really gives you time just to stop in between classes and just think about how much you're blessed. I've always thought of De La Salle as a place that seeks to save everyone, but has a special mission to save those who might not be saved, but for the opportunities De La Salle provides. In my sophomore year, actually, my mom was diagnosed with terminal breast cancer. And uh, at De La Salle, it was such a family atmosphere and environment that as soon as like people found out, they really embraced me and my brother. And uh, the support that we got from the school was unmatched by any, any other person or institution that I've ever been a part of. Not everyone knows my situation, and I don't know everyone else's situation. And regardless of that, we all give each other the respect that we deserve. And I think that's really, really good at helping us grow and mature. After meeting so many alumni and coming here in one or two days and just experiencing the school, it was, it was no turning back. I mean, I had to be here. When they speak to what's important in classes, what their morals are, what their values are, um, they know the right stuff. I think hope can be taught because if you're optimistic, then you just go for things. You don't get down on yourself. You don't give up. I'm going to challenge you to do things you've never done before. I'm going to work my hardest to challenge you to do that. And, you know, and I tell them this is, this is the important thing, to be challenged like that, to push yourself, push your own limits. I think I'm a much better person because I'm more well-rounded. I've got better social skills, better confidence, better just understanding of life itself. And the teachers here all kind of know where you're trying to get and what your goals are, so they all push you along as far as where you need to be, keeping you on track. They are the ones that helped me when I was struggling in school, and they respected me for who I was. You can take AP classes, you can take honors classes, you can take regular classes, and it's, it's going to be at your level, but it's still a little bit higher. It's still going to push you. I've always felt that my sons, both my sons, have been challenged academically here. And I always felt that there was some conversation about where they should be. Should they be in this class or higher class? And I, I really felt there's flexibility and openness. My GPA has improved a lot, and I'm living looking at harder schools now and for college. I'm first generation to college for my family and so like once a month I get to go meet with counselors and talk to them about that and they've just been kind of keeping me on track as far as all the things I need to be doing and thinking about. What really matters at De La Salle is who you are 
and it's right back to the beginning of my journey at De La Salle as a student, where it didn't matter that my dad was a janitor. What mattered is who I was. When I saw De La Salle, I knew I wanted to go here, and without the help of people like the benefactors for De La Salle, I would never be going here. I would never have the chance that I do now to experience De La Salle in its fullest. I obviously don't have the money to pay for the whole tuition myself, but I mean, gifts like that and financial aid, an opportunity to go to college and be prepared for it well, I'm like so touched by that. We're so lucky and we're so blessed with like everything that we've been given. It's just this unknown feeling that we are all being helped and we're not exactly sure how we're being helped or who's helping us, but we're all getting that help from somewhere and it's not just magically appearing. So I think it, it kind of gives us all this sense of uh, almost duty, almost like we're supposed to help out too. You know, there's people out there that don't get to go to a school like this. People out there that don't get to take the classes that we get to take and have the opportunities that we do. So it's, it's always important and you definitely realize that once you've gotten here. It's important to give back. We have people who have benefited from the De La Salle High School experience, who have come back to De La Salle and given back based on much of what they believe was given to them. I always dreamed and thought of helping out De La Salle students when I grow up. It's just something I have to give back for all the things they've done for me. Obviously, thank you very much for everything that you do for us. and. Just know that everything that you've given us is a good choice and it's well spent. I just wish they could stop by so all of, not only I but most of the kids here could thank them for what they've accomplished and done for us. I really do appreciate all the help and support that I got from De La Salle and I think people realize that and I'm going to continue to show my appreciation by doing what I have to do and becoming that successful man that I want to become to help people at De La Salle and future Islanders. It's a passionate thing for me because I don't have much, and yet I'm here. I mean, coming to De La Salle on the island, beautiful campus, means, it means my life. It really does, because with this, I'm gonna be able to go far.